integrate some multi-body solids in sheet metal using the 2016 options. So to start with, I'm going to create a contour flange. I'm going to extrude it a depth. So I'll give it a parameter name as I'm doing it. I'm going to make sure it's symmetrical. It's going to check that I'm doing it to the outside, which I am. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go OK. So I want to use a sketch again. So I'm going back into the sketch environment. And then I can just go in and share sketch. I'm then going to pick contour flange. Then pick the other profile. But this time over here, I can pick new solid. And again, make it symmetrical. And this time I can go list parameters. And the depth parameter I created is there. Just going to go and make sure it's on the inside, which it is, which is good. And I'm going to go OK. So I've now got two solids. So I'm going to rename these solids now just by clicking twice. So I've got my outer and my inner. Then turn the visibility of that sketch back off. So that's a part created. So I've called it master part. I'm just going to save that. So if I now want to make this into an assembly, I can go make components. I can then from the solids folder pick the solids I want to make. I can rename it if I want to. I'm just going to leave this assembly with a default name, but you can call it whatever you want. And I can again, I can choose my uh, assembly template. I'm going to stick with the defaults for now and go next. By default, it gives it a sheet metal template. I'm just going to go OK. Then it immediately creates an assembly for the two components in. So first thing I'm going to do is go save. So it's an initial save. So if this were to crash, I wouldn't have any components. So now it's saved. I've got two components in my assembly. If I open this one up, I can then create a flat pattern. And it works as normal sheet metal. So there's my assembly. Here's the original master part. If I go back into this sketch and just go edit sketch, if I change the size, maybe make it 200 mil, finish the sketch, the part updates, go back to the assembly, hit update at the top, and the assembly updates accordingly, along with all the parts inside it. So it's a nice quick way of updating and creating components quickly in the sheet metal environment.